and welcome everyone to Celebration, our channel that focuses on cultural events in different countries. Well, did you know that thanks to Jesus, we have plenty of days off. One of those days was not long ago actually. Um, it was in April, it's called Ascension, if you know that. And I remember I had a great time. I had lots of good memories from this day because I met up with some friends. We had some barbecue in my backyard and a little to drink. And yes, I, it was a really nice day. Well, I completely understand what you say because I just felt completely the same. I remember well that in France there, there is uh, the same day off, but it's funny because I think it's a religious celebration at first, right? You sure about that part, Fanny? Mm -hmm. I, I only drink on a day. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure about it. It commemorates the Christian belief of the ascension of Jesus into heaven. <laughs> Though many German citizens belong to other religions or don't identify as religious at all, at all Germany does have a history of as a majority Christian nation and its holiday reflects that. While some German states, like the Catholic Bavaria, where Kilian is from, take smaller Christian celebrations as holiday, most major ones are national blank holidays as well. Uh, yeah, exactly like in France, but listening to what your experience of Ascension, clearly Ascension doesn't have any religious sense anymore. Yeah, you're right about that, Charlotte. Indeed, the number of people leaving a church has been increasing for years. In 2022, the number had reached its peak. Specifically, only 45 million people are still Christians and only, only run about 230,000 people are still part of the church. Damn, okay, but in France that's also the case. We are the first country in the world where atheist people are a majority. So nowadays Ascension is just like uh, holidays and we are Faire le pont, which means that school are just on Tuesday and they let free to Friday. It's just like a huge weekend. Yeah, it's true, Charlotte. I've heard that Ascension Day has been celebrated in Germany since at least the 4th century. It's historically being mocked by processions with torches and banners. And apparently in some more rural, more rural areas of southern Germany, this custom continues to the present day. Are you, do you agree? Um, funny, I actually never heard of that. It changed, it changed over time to a completely different celebration. So um, you you already talked about the fair the point if I <laughs> if I pronounce it clearly. <laughs> now in Germany it's pretty similar. Um, um, we have the so-called Brückentag, um, but the Germans were so smart to put the Father's Day if you also have that in France on the same day as the Ascension. On this day, young people go outside with a Bollerwagen, a handcart, and drink the whole day. And thanks to the Brückentag, they can sleep in on Friday and don't have to go to work or to school. Oh, it sounds clearly funnier. I mean, funnier indeed, but every year the Father's Day sees a 300% spike in the number of alcoholic-related traffic incidents. Mm. So that's bad, but maybe you should come in, it will be fun. Oh, thanks darling, it will be a pleasure. So, um, always remember, with celebration you'll never stop learning. So, we see you next week for another episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.